Hey everybody, Anne here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee. It was freezing cold, now it's like, I don't know, upwards towards 70 degrees in here. It's about 34 degrees outside, but I have something amazing that happened, and it happened, well, I noticed it last night. I don't know exactly when it happened, but it happened. So here, let me show you what it is. Okay, it's 5 p.m. All the chickens have gone up to roost, and I checked, I did a head count on the Easter eggers. And look what I found. Oh, look at this. Look. It's my first Easter egg or egg. I don't know. I'm going to have to get it inside. It looks kind of greenish. Oh, that is pretty. Here's the egg. And yeah, it does definitely look like a green egg. But um, I noticed, I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can get it into focus. Um, there are some little flaws in the shell they look like cracks to me and I know know that sometimes when they first start laying their eggs aren't perfect so I just wanted to make sure that it's not all the way through to the you know inner contents of the egg so I put it upside down like that last night and uh, to see if anything would leak out and nothing did so I think I'm gonna it's safe to eat this one um, if there's a flaw that goes you know all the way to the inside there's too much chance of bacteria going in there, but there's some weird markings on it. And it's a small egg, but it is an egg. So the Easter eggers, one Easter egger is finally laying, and it looks like I got a green egg, my favorite color. So I am so stoked about this. That's my happy face. So I'm going to go kind of bolster up that one box. Um, they seem to not be disturbing that middle laying box, and there's two others. I need to get some more bedding um, and put a little bit more bedding up in there to make them more comfortable. And so today, mostly, is going to be about the chickens, but I am going to go look for some wood. Uh, it's going to warm up here in a little bit and just put some wood up here and there and just see if I like it. I'll tell you what, this is... Each day that goes by, it just increases my confidence that I'm going to be able to do this forever and ever. Um, and I need to be able to depend on wood for heat and cooking because the price of propane is just ridiculous right now. And I think it's only going to get worse. In fact, I think prices for everything is going to get worse. So, you know, I used to kind of like criticize people for stockpiling and just getting a bunch of food and... But I don't do that anymore because um, a lot of the shelves are bare and a lot of people are finding themselves unprepared. So I'm prepared. Um, I could live off of what I currently have for probably, if I was very conservative, six months. I'm thinking I would be good for six months. Um, and that would be just eating very carefully. Me, I don't really eat for uh, comfort anymore, except for snacks. And I got to cut down on the snacks because this girl, yeah, um, I had lost, uh, from the time I moved into the van to now, I think I've lost about 70 pounds. Oh, Thanksgiving, I am spending a quiet day at home here. Um, I'll probably have a video and post it later on in the day for the little meal that I'm going to make for myself and my dogs and maybe chickens. I don't think there's going to be enough leftovers though because it's just going to be one small little like thing. <laughs> so you'll have that to look forward to. Anyways, uh, I need to get going. I need to get dressed. I need to, oh, look at this hat. Oh, I got to show you something about this hat. My dad gave me this hat when he and mom came down one time, and I looked at it, and I loved it. I put it on my head, and he says, you want to keep it? And I'm like, yeah, he's probably upset that he did that now, but I've worn it so much, it's starting to wear out. Look at this. Look at the, oops, over, over here. It has started falling apart, basically. I, you know, I, did, I haven't been washing it, so I just put a piece of duct tape on it until I can get something that can actually, whoops, actually fix it like some kind of fabric patch I just I love this is my favorite hat I just don't want it to get messed up so once I have the fabric kind of patch and I fix this over here I'm gonna wash it real good look at how dirty it is but this has just been my favorite hat oh that's my dad <laughs> Wally and uh, yeah so that's so funny okay so I was trying to put this little piece up here by the coat uh, coat hat rack, whatever, and I looked through all my screws. I don't have the right size screws, so either I'm going to have to get bigger screws 
or smaller limbs. This is just a remnant, but uh, yeah, even two inch screws are not long enough to go through the wood and go through the paneling. So, whoops, I'm gonna have to look for some different wood or <laughs> get some different screws. Oh well, I think I'll just try and find some smaller wood, which is a shame because I really, really want to be able to use this piece somewhere. I'm sure I can find bigger screws, right? Oops. Look at that. Look at all that lichen on it. And it's still alive. I think it's cool. I want it inside my tiny house. I'll show you something I did get done. Excuse my floor, but um, I've taken the rugs completely out. Um, I went ahead and took the, the little doors off of this because it was just too much trouble opening and closing them. And I also took off there was a little piece of wood like right here and it made it impossible to slide this out, slide this bucket out to empty it. Um, you'd have to lift it up over the top and then you'd have to fit it like up underneath of this. So I took the doors off and I took uh, that one little piece of wood out. Let me get it right there. And I got a tension rod and some pillowcases I already had and just made a little curtain for my cabinet thingy. Uh, slash sink whatever I don't want to show you this sink because it's got dishes in it right now look at these beautiful roosters look at that one look look at their chests oh my gosh they are just getting so gorgeous I can't wait till they're all feathered out and their tails are just doing what they're gonna do but just look at them oh I think that's a product of a uh, of a Roxy egg. I'm thinking this one is too because they've got some barring patterns to them. I don't know if you can see it. I wish the sun was shining right on them but absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous roosters. Look at that. Look at the little tufts of... Huh. Oh! You too. You don't have the big tufts, but you're still beautiful. And you, Flame, here, <laughs> come on Flame, look at me. You are just gorgeous too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to eat these. No way. What are these sweet babies doing? There's Patsy. There's Waldo. And Rocky too. Just taking a little rest. They're getting pretty too. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Waldo is a hen. I don't know. I, I kind, I'm kind of thinking rooster. Sorry, I'm not feeling very good. But I don't think there's any doubt that Patsy's a hen. She's so pretty. Since I didn't do the wood thing today on the paneling, I went shopping for what I'm going to make for Thanksgiving dinner. And mostly, I had everything on hand. I had to pick up a few things. So, let's see if you can figure out what I'm going to do. That is sliced turkey breast, cream mushroom soup, uh, dehydrated green beans, turkey gravy, mashed potatoes, raisins, cranberries, pineapple chunks, cowboy candy chutney with fruit in it. Sliced almonds, uh, cranberries, stuffing, these, and yams, and a few other. Oh, 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 yes, dehydrated super sweet corn. This stuff is great just to munch on right out of the canister. So you guys tell me, what do you think I'm going to make with all of this? It's been an awesome day. I went to the store and got the makings for my Thanksgiving dinner, and it's going to be kind of a little bit different. Um... So I'm, I'm thinking that, yeah, I'll do a video, late, I'll publish a video later on for what I did during the day and me making my meal. Um, it's not going to be live or anything. Anyway, um, you know, I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.